Divika, welcome to Bollywood Life. Thank you. First of all, tell me how sweet is the taste of this Padmavat success? You know, success is always very, very sweet, but this is beyond that. I feel this film is seeing uh, a different kind of uh, high, um, which I don't think Indian cinema has seen in a very, very long time. You know, so I wouldn't attribute this film to just. Of course, it's you know, it's it's seeing. Amazing success at the box office. It's seeing uh, so much love and appreciation. Um, you know, uh, everyone's work is being appreciated. But um, I think post this film, I'm feeling a completely different kind of high. Um, and there is a sense of people uh, sending a lot of blessings. You know, it's 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 almost feeling like a spiritual. Sort of experience the last right. couple of days. Right, Deepika, you have worked really hard to you know come where you have. We all of us look at you on screen and we enjoy your performances. There is so much of recognition in the film reviews and there are awards decking up your house. But a lot of people forget the fact that it didn't come easy. You know there were auditions and there was obviously your first film which was a blockbuster. It has been a very up and an uphill and a downhill journey. What has been the one? Most one of one biggest sacrifice, if I had to ask you, that you've made throughout, and the biggest lesson you've learned of the journey. Well, if you ask me, one uh, sacrifice, I think that's very, very, uh, you know, easy to answer that question. Uh, is the fact that I moved away from home, and not to say that you know, there are so many youngsters today uh, who move away from their home at a very, very young age to pursue their dreams. and i'm sure it is for them as well but if i had to choose for myself uh, you know i would definitely say the fact that i've moved away from my home um, you know that i don't get to wake up every morning and see my parents face or my sister's face to not be a part of their life uh, every single day um when i was uh, you know when i was in my teens um all i wanted to do was to just get out and uh, pursue my dreams um not realizing at that point that it actually means so much more um and today i've understood the decision that i made more than 10 years ago uh, i understand today what a big decision that was you know so there are days where i wake up and i feel like or you know you know sometimes you come back from a tiring day and you just want your mother to give you some like hot food sure. or just someone to sit and talk to you sure. or in stressful times your father to talk to you or you know so it's uh, that's that's probably what i you know what i miss and i i would call a sacrifice in every other way i think it was expected you know i think the fact that i was also an athlete has taught me the importance uh, you know my father says the the 3 d's uh, discipline dedication and determination um i knew this very very early on in my life and i've used a lot of that in in my film career as well and then of course like you said the ups and downs uh of of the career but also of the fact that um uh, people didn't really appreciate the work that i did initially um uh, even though i feel like i had one of the best debuts that any female has ever had a lot of people questioned my performance and uh, i think all of that has made me the person that i am today you know i think i took all of that criticism and even today if there's any criticism sure. that comes my way i always try and take it in you know in a positive way and try and you know always do better than than what i have done in the past right uh, how do you react to this uh, you know this quote when somebody says that she has become sanjali la bansali's muse and he is obsessed with her a, to a different level in terms of the way he portrays you on yeah. screen a lot of actors and actresses would definitely be jealous the the way the canvas that he gives you is beautiful it's not just the color and texture what do you make of that i think that um uh, the relationship that he and i share uh is very very different from the relationship that i share with some of my other directors the relationship i share with him has evolved a lot since uh, our first film together ramleela we've never really had much conversation sure. in in our relationship and it's reduced a lot more uh, over the years uh the communication we share is through the eyes and in our smiles 
um, you know, when I think of him, I think of days when I walk on to set and he's sitting by the monitor. I just give him a big hug and we are in this embrace where I think we're both communicating so much to each other without sharing a word and we know exactly what the other one is trying to communicate or feeling and even on set there are no um, he's never really directed me right. he's always just let me let me be his sure. you know and i think that that means there's just immense amount of trust and i you know i'd like to believe that the connection that we have is is a soul connection out of all the three films that I've done with him, uh, I would say the Johar uh, sequence, the Johar scene, the climax of Padmavati is, um, has been the most um, emotionally challenging few moments for me um, as an actor. And uh, you know, like you rightly pointed out, with Leela, I was a very feisty, fiery sort of character who could yell and scream and fight and punch uh, and break down. With Mastani, again, she was a warrior, uh, but she was a warrior princess. So I still had the option of, okay, she's a princess, but she was still a warrior. She sure. still went to the battlefield with a sword in her hand. You know, when she felt rage or when she felt like she needed to win a war, she could physically just go herself and, right. you know, be a part of the process. This for me has been the most challenging because there were no crutches in that sense. Um, she's a queen over here and uh, you know, there are moments where she, you know, especially in the second half, she kind of holds fort right. uh, when he's abducted, when her husband is abducted to sort of be the pillar of strength, to be the woman that everyone is looking up to. You know, as a leader, I would think that you, you need to inspire the people around you. So even if she had moments of weakness, uh, you know, it was all more internalized than, uh, you know, the experience of uh, externalizing emotions, which I think, you know, I found quite challenging at, uh, at times. But I think for me, the Johar sequence was the most challenging because there's not a single line or word or dialogue, but yet to have to express and emote. But it was also a lot of fun. You know, as, as an actor, that's what you look forward to. You look forward to those challenges. I know Sanjay sir had many moments where um, we were on that set and we shot this in peak summer of uh, in Mumbai. And he kind of would keep delaying this Johar sequence because we know uh, what an important moment it was in, you know, uh, for, for the film. And, you know, he would keep kind of, you know, Going trying to... Forth. Yeah, ki nahi, aaj gana karenge, aaj wo wala scene hai, aaj wo kuch, dusra kuch shot karenge. So there were, I think as a director also, because we knew that it was going to be emotionally very, very, very draining. Sure. Uh, but you know, then that came that point where that was literally just the last thing that was left to do mm. on that scene, right. uh, on that set. So we, you know, and then we had no option. That day came when right. we had to approach that, right. that scene. And there was this eerie silence because, uh, you know, to recreate something that m might have happened, but to just imagine what uh, people in, in that era have gone through or have experienced. But she does it with so much uh, power mm. and strength and dignity. You know, it was, it was just, you know, a great... Uh, moment for me as an actor to to have experienced those moments